Drug Master File for Pharmaceutical Products A Drug Master File DMF, is an elective regulatory submission and is submitted at the discretion of the DMF holder to assist their clients. In the absence of relevant information in the CMC section of an application, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration requires a drug master file submission of a drug substance, drug product, and or container closure submission to allow FDA to review information such as confidential details about facilities, processes, components, or articles used in the manufacturing, processing, packaging, and storing of one or more APIs and or human drugs. These submissions support a third party's application without revealing the information to the third party and maintain the confidentiality of proprietary information e.g., a synthetic or manufacturing procedure for the holder, allowing review of information by reviewers at FDA to support applications submitted by one or more applications. The information contained in a DMF may be used to support an investigational new drug application a new drug application NDA, BLA, an abbreviated new drug application ANDA, another DMF, an export application, and any amendments and supplements to any of these applications. A drug master file is submitted to the Center for Drug Evaluation and Research as it is different from a biologics master file which gets submitted to the Center for Biological Evaluation and Research. DMF types. There are five types of DMFs, the most common being a type 2 DMF followed by a type 3 DMF. It should be noted, however, that only four DMFs types EV are still actively submitted as the type 1 DMF has been phased out. Type 2, drug substances, active pharmaceutical ingredients, substance intermediates and materials used in their preparation, or a drug product. A type 2 DMF, the most common form, can also cover dosage form drugs manufactured under contract for another company which would file an ANDA. Type 3, packaging materials, from bottles and caps to PVC resin used in their manufacture must be covered in a DMF or other FDA document such as an NDA. Type 4, excipient, colorant, flavor, essence or material DMF. Excipients are chemically inactive substances such as starches or cellulose used to bind drug powder together so that it can be pressed into a tablet. Other examples include flavorings in children's drugs, alcohol in liquids, etc. Type 5, this is basically FDA accepted reference information that is not included in the other types of DFMFs. Finally, there is also a type 1 DMF which, as noted earlier, is no longer accepted by the FDA. However, older ones remain on file. It should be noted that the manufacturer of any materials e.g., API, DP, container, closure components, etc. can choose to submit the information necessary for review directly to their customers for inclusion in the IND, NDA, ANDA, and BLA, supplements or amendments to these applications. This can be accomplished in whole or in part. If only a part is submitted, it is considered the open part of a DMF that is shared, while the proprietary part is the closed part of the DMF. Regulatory basis of drug master files The submission of a DMF is not required by law or FDA regulation but is only submitted at the discretion of the holder. Once submitted, a DMF is not approved or disapproved, the contents of a DMF are reviewed only in connection with the review of an application such as an IND, NDA, ANDA and supplements, amendments. Additionally, information will also get reviewed when an IND sponsor, an applicant for an NDA, ANDA or another DMF holder incorporates material in the DMF by reference. If FDA reviewers find deficiencies in the information provided in a DMF, a letter describing the deficiencies is sent to the DMF holder. FDA will also notify the person who relies on the information in the deficient DMF that additional information is needed in the supporting DMF. FDA discusses requirements for filing a DMF under the Code of Federal Regulations called 21 CFR 314.420 or applications for FDA approval to market a new drug. Electronic submissions, starting May 5, 2018, any new submissions to the existing DMF must be assembled and submitted in ECTD format. If a current DMF is in paper format with the FDA, the same submission does not need to be resubmitted in ECTD format. 
This is specified in FDA's ECTD guidance, guidance for industry, providing regulatory submissions in electronic format certain human pharmaceutical product applications and related submissions using the ECTD specifications May 2015. It should be noted that DMFs that are not submitted in ECTD format will now be rejected by the agency. DMF holders whose DMFs are currently in paper format will not be required to resubmit their entire DMFs in ECTD format after May 5, 2018, only amendments and updates. It should also be noted that electronic submissions that are 10 GB or smaller in size must be submitted through the Electronic Submission Gateway ESG. The majority of DMF submissions generally fall into this category. Towards that end, it is recommended that submitters obtain an ESG account or discuss their submission options with consulting firms which offer this service. Submissions that are over 10 GB may be submitted on physical media, such as a compact disc. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Watch more videos as we have created a lot of videos for pharmaceuticals.